some years ago, I had a dream. I can remember every detail of that dream. I'm at a house party filled with unusual people, the kind of people I might like, but I don't know any of them. People are dressed oddly, but they're not in costume. The house is not large, but has many distinctive spaces, all filled with knickknacks and paraphernalia, mementos of a life well lived, a life full of itself. The people all seem to know each other quite well. Various televisions and monitors around the house are playing old footage from perhaps the 70s or 80s of of life at that point uh, with with someone in particular. These are someone's remem memories. They play sometimes in the background in a hallway. Other times people are sitting and watching them while others are chatting. The fellow in the videos was young then and involved in some kind of environmental causes or architecture. As I walk about, I speak to no one. People rarely speak to me. I remember the details of this dream so well because I've had that dream dozens of times subsequently. I don't know how many because I often forget it and then remember in the dream that I've had this dream before. I begin to lucid dream with varying levels of intensity. I can be aware, I'm aware that I'm in a dream. I am able to only barely influence anything. While in many lucid dreams, I can control what happens next. In this one, I walk the same path through the party. I glance at the same objects. I see the same videos. The names are all the same. There's slight variations that make each instance of this dream stand out intensely. Now, awake, I can only remember some details as they fade. But I walk the same pattern. The same people will comment to me something. I don't respond appropriately. I feel removed, though I'm there. I don't feel drink, drunk or drugged. Just before making this recording, the dream changed. In the previous dreams, I had often wondered who the host was but never saw him. And then I realized, as I took a picture of a desk that had the name of an architect on it, it was the same name I had seen in articles on the walls and the same one I had heard in the videos. And I saw the names also mentioned and realized 
it was his children. And that it was his children I had been seeing around and that he was likely not alive anymore. This house was his mementos. These people were his friends. All a bit older than me, except for a few kids and some young people. I seem to be the only person my age. I recognized people better in the dreams than I had before and realized I had seen them elsewhere, but it was elsewhere in the dream world, in other dreams. Not people I've ever met. There was no one at the party who I'd ever met. One of them walked alongside me for a moment and said something I didn't understand, so I responded with something unintelligible. And unlike in the past dreams, he kept walking beside me, and he told me that I might like to go to a certain place where there was some kind of, uh, I don't know if it's an open mic, or some kind of performance, some kind of an alternative performance. And so I listened to him, and I decided to write it down. I pulled out my notebook, and it only had two or three pages left, empty. It's the same notebook I was carrying today, yesterday. And I tried to start writing, but I, my, my fingers and mind would not function to write down where this place was. It was somewhere in Fremont, in Seattle, the Fremont neighborhood. He kindly said that he could write it down for me. And more so than before, although people had been able to see me at the party before, I was suddenly aware that people could really actually see me and that I may look unusual. He was helping me to write something down. Why wasn't I able to write it down? I didn't see what he wrote down, put the pad away, decided it was time to leave. walked outside, and just as I had before, I avoided the main road and crossed to another one, a dirt road. And then I looked down the road and then realized I was avoiding people who might be walking down the, down the road, other party goers on this rural road. And I turned back, walked, to the road that had people on it. Saw some coming in the distance. And I realized this invitation was perhaps an invitation to another dream. And I walked past the people still arriving to the party on my way out. And I woke up. And I remembered the dream. And I recorded it. For you. And for me, the next time I'm at that party, walking the same route, or perhaps for the new dream I've been invited to.